Hi yeah, and welcome to this week's video. I am currently filming back to back, so if it looks like last video, I've got the same outfit on, that's because I have. Um, today's video, I am doing some isopod maintenance. I need to move my dairy cows over to a slightly large enclosure because I've now got 60 plus bravies and I saw um, the male wooing the female, let's put it that way again. Um, so I'm bound to get another 60 plus babies so just to make it easier i'm going to put them in not nothing massive just this uh three liters uh they are currently in this which is where i had them started a bit of moss a bit of cork bark a couple of inches of dirt which has done them well they're quite happy in there and then they've obviously got spring towels to help clean up but i feel that now especially as i've got two more cultures they will be better utilised in the three three litre tub and then one of my other cultures can go in this um, to get them going and then obviously I will transfer them into a bigger tub as well. Um, so all I'm going to do is I've got some cocoa fibre down here, fill up this tub and then start transferring them over. I've also got a spray bottle with the DC Clean. This was something that I've used out but I've rinsed it out many many times to make sure that the number of the products in here that I was using and then I've put dechlorinated water in here. I use RepTi-Safe, the same as I use for the Beard of Dragon and the Chinese Water Dragon's water. So I'm just gonna make sure that they've got plenty of moss uh, moisture so they can retreat to, to rehydrate. Um, so let's get started in today's video. So I'm just gonna put a couple of, about two or three inches of dirt on the bottom. See, I've got the dirt from the other top as well. I can put it in here. So as you can see, I've just put two, three inches of um, soil in here. Uh, I am going to now put the moss over and then dump the dirt from in this enclosure here into there because I know that there's mankai in here. I've seen them running around. Like I said I've counted between 30 and 60 of them depending on if I count any twice. Um, and I've got at least two females that laid a brood. And the broods are generally around 30 to 60, depending on uh, anything up to 6, 30 per um, isopod, sorry. So that potentially gives me 60 babies. Um, obviously with that many, with the amount of springtails and that in there, I want to make sure that they've got plenty of space to grow and develop so that I can then put them in with my water dragon for the rest of his cleanup crew. So let's start doing that. just tapped any isopods that are on the lid because I know that there was a few springtails on the lid. Right. Yeah, I got you. So I don't know whether you can see, but here is one of my dairy cows. Um, I actually think that you might be the male. Yeah, he's the male. Um, he's, I know he's been busy with the females. Oh, he's actually mid-shed as well. So isopods, unlike lizards, share front half and half back half in two separate bits. He's currently sh shedding the back half, so I have kind of disturbed him mid-shed. Right, I'm gonna put the moisturised end here. Might add a bit more moss in there now as well. Oh, there was another. I just put in that lot as well. So I'm just going to add a touch more of the sphagnum moss in here. And spray this down. I will be one second. I actually need to clean off this cork bark. Just tap the uh, spring tails in. I like having extra cultures of spring tails because with having bioactive crews, for whatever reason, my um, 
the bioactive occlusion wild Chinese water dragons vivarium died off the entire lot of springtails. I had a quite a large colony in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I've got some special soil to mix in to revitalize it, and then I'm going to um, add in some more springtails to get them going again. I'm just going to wash that off because that's gross. There we go. We'll get them a bigger piece of cork bark now that they're in a bigger enclosure. I'm just going to move some of this leaf litter over. Bit more moss. So I don't know what's happened here. If you can see, there's a whole load of... They look like worms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it on the safe side and scoop this lot out and stick it in the bin and get rid of them. I don't want that transferring into where these are now going. I want it all nice and clean for them. Hello. <laughs> trying to escape. There we go. So I've got rid of whatever the heck that was. Um, so I've definitely seen Mankai crawling around in here while I was just emptying. So what I'm going to do is transfer a little bit of the leaf litter over so it's mixed in within the soil again. And then I will carefully try not to crush too many of them. Dump this from here into here. So it's got the spring towers, the good bacteria and any Mankai that might be hiding away. I'm just going to lift this up gently, it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of sphagnum moss and all them underneath it, because they will be able to unbury themselves. This on top, so they've got a gradient, so your one's already under, just to unbury itself, that way, I think that might be a little bit too much soil, but can manage. And that's the dairy cows. Um, I'm just going to leave them to settle in. Once we've done the other enclosures, what I'll do is I'll feed them all so that they've got fresh food in here um, and some leaf litter so that they've got, um, as we all know, they are detritivores, meaning that they eat decaying matter, so leaf litter, and they've got lizard shed in here as well. Um, what I'm going to do with the other two, because they've already, these guys have already got um, shed in here, my the dragon's just finished the full body shed, so I'm going to go and grab that, and the food, and then we'll do the um, crystal whites and my panda kings.